This is a human brain, and it is priceless. The Elon Musks and Bill Gateses of the world are very interested in your brain and how to control, I mean, how to take it to the next level for you. So are the world's billionaires secretly plotting to control your mind? What is the shocking truth behind their quest for the ultimate human enhancement and what it means for the future of humanity? In today's video, we'll talk about the controversial topic of billionaires and their interest in brain enhancement. Tech moguls like Gates, Elon, Bezos, and more. From Silicon Valley executives to Wall Street tycoons, it seems that some of the world's most powerful people are increasingly turning their attention to the human brain. But why? Are they simply looking for ways to improve their cognitive abilities, or is something more sinister at play? Hey, before we get too far, I just have a really simple ask. It would mean a lot to us just to help with YouTube's algorithm and how it runs. To like this video right now, it will help other people to find this video. And if you're truly getting value, don't forget to subscribe. Here is a new term for you to know, brain-computer interface. The idea of connecting computers to the human brain, also known as the brain-computer interface, or BCI, is the concept of creating a direct communication pathway between the human brain and an external device, such as a computer. Hmm, how does that sound? This can be achieved through a variety of methods, including implantable devices, non-invasive electroencephalography, or EEG, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRIs. The goal of BCI is to allow individuals with neurological disorders or injuries to regain control of their bodies and improve their quality of life. Cool, right? Furthermore, BCI technology has the potential to be used in areas such as gaming, virtual reality, and artificial intelligence. However, there are also ethical concerns regarding the use of BCI, such as privacy and security risks, and the possibility of misuse. The idea of connecting computers to the human brain, or brain-computer interface, has been around for several decades. The earliest research in this area can be traced back to the 1970s when scientists first began exploring the use of implantable devices to restore function in individuals with neurological disorders or injuries. One of the first experiments in this field was done by Dr. Jose Delgado, a Spanish neuroscientist in the 1960s. He implanted electrodes into the brains of animals to control their movement behaviors. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, researchers began to explore non-invasive methods of recording brain activity, such as electroencephalography and magnetic resonance imaging. These techniques allowed for the study of brain activity in humans without the need for invasive procedures. Since then, research in BCI has continued to evolve and expand, with new technologies and techniques being developed to improve the accuracy and functionality of brain-computer interfaces. A brain-computer interface eliminates the need for an intermediary between the computer and the mind. And now let's focus on why brain chips are becoming such a crucial technology for powerful elites. Is this only for the money, or is there something else that they have in mind? Over the years, tech moguls have shown interest in biotech for various reasons, such as its potential to yield high returns, diversification, personal interest, innovations, strategic investments, and etc. However, the breakthroughs and investments in the brain-computer interface were mainly for health reasons. Has this remained so? Not at all. Over the decades, having seen successes in the BCI tests, the potential of its application across other human fields has broadened, spanning gaming, security, virtual reality, and etc. Tech moguls hope to tap from this wild field, as it holds great potential for both their portfolio and in making them stand out as game changers. Elon, Gates, and Bezos can relate. So what are their plans for your brain? The likes of Bill Gates and Peter Thiel are known to be at the forefront in showing interest and investing in the biotech relating to brain-computer interface. From backing up startups like Synchron, Neuralink, and Utah's BlackRock Neurotech, they have shown continued zest for BCI technology. After roughly 50 years of confinement to lab studies and one-off experiments, the has have been brought to light in the past several years, seeing actual application in people's heads and even as assist devices. These men sure know what they are putting their money into. How brain experts are reacting to startup companies like Synchron and Neuralink? It is difficult to say how top neuroscientist experts are reacting to startups like Synchron and Neuralink, as opinions may vary among individuals. However, some experts in the field of neuroscience may have concerns about the potential risks 
and ethical implications of brain implants and brain-computer interfaces, as well as the speed at which these technologies are being developed and implemented. On the other hand, some experts may view these startups as exciting and promising opportunities for advancing our understanding of the brain and developing new treatments for neurological disorders. Overall, there is a lot of interest and excitement in the field of brain-computer interfaces and brain implants, but it is important to proceed with caution and consider the potential risks and benefits. Brain-computer interfaces can monitor, understand, and alter the activity of neurons in the brain, but they do not fully capture the intricate and diverse non-electrical cellular systems in the brain that can impact information processing and behavior such as the interactions within blood vessels and communication among specialized cells called astrocytes. According to Arches Nelson, the aspect of BCI that involves computing can serve as a clear connection between technology and medicine for individuals with a technology background. The results of BCI research can also be easily understood by executives who are more familiar with reading computer code than analyzing biological studies. Additionally, Kurt Hagstrom from Synchron stated that the brain is often thought of as the most sophisticated computer, and therefore many technology professionals are interested in learning about and accessing the inner workings of the brain. You see, it is very hard to see the good purpose of this technology without having to worry about what else they can find in your brain or do to it. So how far are we from having brain chip technologies become common practice? Speculations that are however bound to the results of clinical research have shown that a BCI device would launch a few years from now on humans. Synchron has had some remarkable success in the BCI, one of which is in its development of one of the sleekest, most minimally invasive BCI that communicates with the portion of the brain used to produce voluntary movements. The current research on brain implants primarily concentrates on utilizing them for patients with severe medical conditions, such as total paralysis or finding ways to treat illnesses like Parkinson's. However, the potential for connecting brains with computers extends far beyond healthcare and has attracted the attention of technology billionaires such as Elon and Jeff Bezos. By identifying predictable brain signals, BCIs can interpret your thoughts and perform specific actions such as clicking a mouse. BCIs are being developed to diagnose brain issues and treat conditions such as depression through the use of deep brain stimulation. They also have the potential to provide insights into the inner workings of the brain by allowing scientists to observe neural activity in real time. Tests and positive results in the field have shown that the BCI has applications beyond healthcare, such as security, gaming, and even in creating more powerful soldiers. The race for developing brain computer interfaces and brain implants is heating up with many billionaires investing in companies like Neuralink and Synchron. While these technologies have the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work, they also raise important ethical questions about privacy, autonomy, and the unequal distribution of these cutting-edge technologies. It is important to stay informed about the advancements in this field and to consider the potential risks and benefits as we move forward. Here is something else you must know right now. I make videos about things most people don't talk about, like brain chip technology and its ethical side. I recently posted many videos on Wells Fargo, Tesla, Amazon, and Toyota. Check them out and let me know if you agree with those unpopular opinions or not. Thanks for watching.